Hey Mod Runners, welcome back for another episode. Uh, today, um, as requested, um, is a scuba episode. Uh, today we're going to be talking about BCDs or BCs, which stand for Buoyancy Control Device or Buoyancy Compensator. Um, basically what these are, and they're actually the same BCD, this is an older version of this BCD, and I'll talk a little bit about the differences between other BCDs, not just these, but these are the ones that I own, these are mine, so um, I only have these ones to show you. Um, first off, what a BCD is. A BCD is a buoyancy control device. Basically what it does is that when we're scuba diving, we go underwater. Well, you don't want to be floating at the surface and you don't want to be sinking down at the bottom. So you're going to have to have something that's going to offset the buoyancy. And when you go through your certification class, you'll actually learn on how to use these properly. I'm not going to talk a lot about how to use them. That's what your scuba instructor is for. Um, but I'll tell you what they are and the differences between a couple of different styles of BCDs. If I say BC, it's because when I got trained they were called buoyancy compensators. So now I get in the habit of saying BCDs and BC. So if I mix up the two, now you know. In the, uh, the older days, uh, BC stand for uh, buoyancy compensator and now they're called buoyancy control devices. So, but they're interchangeable and what they do is they help offset. So the idea is when you're scuba diving, you don't want to be on the bottom dragging across the sand and you don't want to be at the surface just looking down below. You want to be right there in the middle. You want to be weightless. The idea is to be as free and weightless and as comfortable as possible. So when you're swimming, you're using as least amount of energy so that you can actually stay underwater for a good amount of time uh, and not using up a lot of energy. More comfortable. And that's what these guys are helped to do. So one of the first ones that I got which is, this is made by Sequest. This is called the Balance. This is, like I said, this is the newer version of the Balance. Um, but one of my first BCDs was actually a wraparound jacket. And the difference is that this is a back inflated. And what I'll do is I'll actually blow it up for you so you can see. All the air is in the back here. So when I'm wearing it, and I'll put it on for you, when you're wearing it, all the air is in the back here so it doesn't wrap around. So that when I'm actually diving, I'm streamlined. The idea is to be as streamlined as possible. The benefit of having a back inflated BCD is because when you're actually you know, swimming around and swimming, all the air is on their back so it's not shifting around on you. The downside about having a back inflated BCD versus a jacket style, which the air comes down and wraps around you this way, is that with a jacket style, when you're on the surface of the water, it tends to give you a lot of lift from down here and lifts you up at the surface. So if you do spend a lot of time at the surface, having a wraparound jacket is nice to keep you that floating at the surface. Whereas when you're wearing a jacket like this, it tends to kind of kick you forward. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you kind of lean back like you're in a lazy boy chair. And generally when I'm surface swimming, I'm swimming on my back, just kind of leaning back this way and kicking down like this so that it doesn't kick me forward. Ideally when you're underwater, where you spend most of your time scuba diving is that it's nice and streamlined. The nice thing about this particular BCD is also that it's got a hard back plate so it's actually like wearing a harness system. It's very secure when I clip it up. So now let's talk about a couple of the, uh, the, be the bells and whistles on this particular BCD. Once again this is the Balance BCD from Sequest. The older models had a weight integrated Velcro whereas the newer models actually have weight pockets that clip in. My pockets actually have the weights in them and they're in the other room so but they're the pockets that actually slip in and lock in place via this way. But I can still show you. When purchasing a BCD you want to basically figure out get the best you can afford and the things you want to look at is you want to look at is it a jacket or is it back inflation? Is it weight integrated? And weight integrated means basically in the old days we had to wear a weight belt. Nowadays, the BCDs are weight integrated, meaning, once again, the weights go in these pockets here and then they clip up and then in an emergency situation, you just pull it and then drop it and then you'll float up uh, if you're properly weighted. Um, so it's an emergency eject weight system. Very important and I do recommend weight integration because it's a lot more comfortable. 
Um, we already talked, I already showed you in terms of the oral inflation. You can let the air out, but you can also dump the air by pulling on this piece here. I don't know if you can hear it. Air, and then there's another, if you're swimming down, there's a downward descent. Because remember that the air is always going to go to the highest point, so if you're swimming down, all the air is going to be back down in this area. So pulling this dump here will vent the air and you can swim down in your direction. I already talked about the hard plates. Um, some of the fun things like the bells and whistles. This is a nice metal D-ring for clipping up here. It has a tuck-away pocket, once again for streamlining, so that you can actually pull it down, get inside if you want to store anything, and then if you're not using your pocket, you can tuck it away and it's nice and streamlined. There's another clip down here for clipping things and another D-ring down here at the bottom. The newer version has the same kind of bells and whistles. It's got a, actually a, a holder strap here so for your lifting. It has your same clip, it has the same release down here. It has an upper release on the upper shoulder as well as your normal release. And this is something a little bit different. This is an air source. What this does is this is an integrated regulator so that when I have my alternate air source, I have my first, my primary, and then instead of wearing an octopus, this is an actual regulator. It clips up here and then the regulator and it has your oral inflation and then your power inflation just like before on the others, but it's a regulator, so you can actually breathe off of it in an emergency situation. A couple more D-rings up here. This one actually comes with a knife, so you can actually, and if you don't get it with the knife, it comes with the pockets that allow you to attach the squeeze lock knife to it. And then once again, these are clips, uh, the weight releases clip in and lock in place there. It's got a lower lumbar support system here, which is a little bit padded, and I've added a couple of extra little clips here. It still has the tuck away pocket, but it also has a reach in pocket up top here. Um, so it, it extends down. If you want to make it larger, you can get at it that way. Um, I've already talked about my uh, mass strap holders and, uh, and that's basically it in terms of the balance BCD. Um, now I can tell you a little bit about, uh, we already talked about weight integration. We talked about back inflation versus wrap around. Um, so now it's just about the harness system and all the other bells and whistles. Um, what a BCD basically is, is that when you go down underwater, you add a little bit of air to offset it and then the rest of your buoyancy control is gonna be your lungs. Once again, your scuba instructor can tell you more about that. This is just a quick review of BCDs in general. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you that, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please click on the, uh, the ads, uh, thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of a specific type, please leave comments down below. Um, once again, I try to keep my channel positive. If there's something that you're not liking, I got a thumbs down on a video last week. Uh, let me know why you didn't like the video um, and then maybe I can make the videos better. If you just want more of a specific video, like you want more of the costume videos, I know that you're all excited about seeing the How to Train Your Dragon costume. I will try and put more of those videos out. Um, but just bear with me. Um, I have other things in my channel that's not just related to the costume. Um, wine scuba, photography. Um, if there's something you wanted me to go in more details about, leave comments down below. Um, and other than that, uh, have a great weekend. Um, whether it's scuba diving or making costumes or tasting wine, go and find your passion.